Hi, I'm Margie Remmers Davis with Crystal Clear Cashflow, creator of the Fast and Easy Way to QuickBooks Online Pro Advisor Certification. I am super excited today because I finally had a chance to really dive into the advanced training and certification requirements. Um, I had already gone through, I gave you a video like this about the basic tests, the basic differences, and uh, and I now have a chance to share with you some of the things that are in the advanced course. Now, when I very first took a look at it, the very first thing I noticed, and I announced this a couple weeks ago, is that there is no more multi-currency, which is super exciting. I know for a lot of you that we're sweating over multi-currency, uh, but they took that off of the test and that's not in the training at all. So woohoo! Um, another thing that they took off is tips. I don't know, it was a small lesson, but um, that's no longer on the test either. And the one thing that they did was they took a much deeper dive into the end of period activities. And I think that the reason they did that is because we spend a lot of time cleaning up after other bookkeepers, right? So we wanna make sure that we have all of our T's crossed and our I's dotted. And, uh, and so they're teaching us how to do that and they're wanting to make sure that we really know how to do that for for the advanced pro advisor certification. So that's it for content. Now, as far as the test structure, there is a major change. And that is that um, in previous versions of the advanced test, there were lots of scenario-based questions. So it was almost like you got a question that was uh, like a story problem in math. That was, uh, tell me about a, a particular client situation and you kind of had to figure out what was going on. There are far less of those this time around. Most of the questions this time are really just what I call content questions, which is how do you do such and such a feature or why would you do such and such a feature or when would you use such and such a feature? So it's really more about knowing the features and what it is and how they do them and occasionally like where to find them, how to turn them on, that kind of stuff. But as far as those story problems that threw so many people off last time in previous versions, those are pretty much out of, out of here. So anyway, that's it. I'm going to get back to work and dive in to get the fast and easy version of the advanced course ready for you. I just wanted to give you those tips and I will see you next time. I can't wait to hear your success story.